Oh, you mean uh, views on my YouTube page? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think any of them are real people. Or okay. maybe one or two. Well, I have friends who watched it, so. Yeah. No, I, 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 think, uh, I think I don't. <laughs> um, I, mean, any, I don't think any, no one's told me they've watched it or to keep doing it. So, so far, so good. Yeah, I have people who are doing that, but maybe they just, like, want to fuck. I don't know. Yeah, we have a few comments already. Yeah, I saw that are, like, you know? that are, like, Grace is hot. Uh, it was, like, Grace is hot AF, mm -hmm. which means as fuck. I know, yeah. I'm with the lingo. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's like they want to make sure you know no other comment, like no other positive feedback. Grace is hot mm -hmm. AF. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say good show. Yeah. Were you mad? I'm always mad. Okay. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> you yeah. literally always are mad. And it's like so easy to get you mad too. Like you get mad like nothing. That makes me so mad. Yeah, no, I believe it. I got I'm, I'm trying to You calm yourself. Calm yourself. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I'm I'm starting intermittent fasting. Okay. I Same. started it. I started it so far I'm, I'm three three hours and twenty minutes in. From what? From not eating. I haven't eaten since eight. Wow. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat after like nine, right? Or eight or nine? I like to just say I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. But you're really not? Not even knowing what it is. Okay. But I think I know what it is. And so that's what I'm doing. That's like literally me with my taxes. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Every time I apply for a job and I have to fill out the tax form, they ask all these questions and I just like leave them all blank. And every time I get a letter from the IRS in the mail, I'm like, this is it. Like, I'm being audited. Because, like, either I don't do my taxes or I commit, like, some sort of tax fraud. Just kidding. Huh. Well, uh, statute of limitations on that, so. I mean, there are so many fledgling comedians that don't properly claim our really sad earnings mm -hmm. in the first place. For the year but it's against the law not to claim you know the two bar tickets that the two drink tickets that you got mm -hmm. I mean you're supposed to be counting all of it because it's like uh, well I mean do drink tickets like count as like an income though I mean to me it's currency same you know? I mean one time someone gave me a drink ticket and I was like I owe you my life sometimes you really need a drink yeah like one sometimes like one drink ticket can change the course of your entire night right though like it's true like sometimes you're like damn i just bombed and then someone's like hey here's a free drink you're like it's fine and i'm famous wow i feel like your drink ticket should expire once you've bombed yeah, like, you don't deserve... Sometimes, like, I'll bomb, and then they'll pay me afterwards, and I'm like, do I really, like, deserve this? No. Yeah, right? But they, like... Like, I bombed literally the worst I ever have one time, and then afterwards, they're like, oh, here's some money, and I'm like, why? Just leave me alone. Like, I'm sad. I love when the booker is like, well, we have to pay you now. I know, yeah. Like, I, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't, but 
like when they look you in the eyes real seriously when they're paying you as if to say i'm doing you a favor right now right, by going through. yeah like the second time i ever did like a 45 minute like headlining thing at a headlining set at a club they were like okay we're gonna pay you i bombed really bad and like i didn't know if i was supposed to be like i'm sorry or not <laughs> like do you say you're sorry i mean i tried my best It just, sorry won't help, so why, you know? I think you should just keep bombing mm -hmm. until... You die. People are like, well, shit, she keeps doing it. It must be good. And we just don't know. <laughs> That's got to be what some of these comics are doing that are getting successful. Right. Like bombing on an international... Like, right now, if you bomb your netflix special i mean Chris that's Delia. a bomb chris right? didn't bomb though huh chris D'Elia didn't bomb though i mean i don't want to i don't like mentioning who could be you know my colleagues in this business being uh -huh. fellow millionaires you know yeah um so we should use like a fictional stand-up comedian for any you know, I don't know why you'd even think I would say that. Chris D'Elia bombed his Netflix special. Where would you get this idea? Stop. It's probably it's the best special so far this year, quarantine. There's Taylor Tomlinson. I didn't watch it, though. So a special that you haven't watched you think is already better? Yeah, I've heard it's, like, okay. Wow. I would rather people hate my special than think than it's okay. Like, oh yeah, did you uh, <laughs> did you hear Antonio got a Netflix special? It's okay. Yeah, it's it's okay. I feel like uh, like saying something is okay is like worse than saying you hated it because they're so like apathetic about it that it's like irrelevant because of that. Like if they hate it then at least they feel strongly about it, like it affected them in some way. I feel like if somebody knows you and it's just okay, they hate it. Yeah. Be because they're like, you got the opportunity and you came out with, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It's, this is really not stuff we'll ever have to worry about. Grace. Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, I don't think I'll ever get, like, a special of any kind. I'm pretty sure at this point, my first TV debut, besides the Crosswalk uh, commercial I was in when I was six, um, I'm pretty sure my first TV debut will be on I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. So, you know, look, we look forward to that on TLC. Not, I mean, it's a, it's a decent credit. Just, like, uh, how I'm going to be on my 600 pound life. I'm going to be on a... No, oh, that's you know, a credit. We've were, we went over that last... Exactly. Episode. Right. But I mean, the, these two shows have something in common. And that but, is being fat. And one but, of them is just, <laughs> I didn't know I was pregnant also. So... Right. I'll be able to combine the two. I'll be on both and there will be like a crossover episode. Like, I didn't know I was pregnant. And also, I'm living that 600 pound life featuring Grace Kirk. Which is why you didn't know you were pregnant. Like, how can you exactly. tell the difference right. when you're 600 pounds? Like, ooh, feels like an extra four ounces inside somewhere. <laughs> right, like you have all that fat. Man, does that mean like the baby cooks better and it comes out earlier or like with special like genius powers? Can't hurt. Yeah, right. right. It's just more, more oven power. The baby that's <laughs> in the womb while a 600 pound life is happening it, it, the baby inside that 600 pound woman i mean he's getting so much stimulation right because she's eating so much food yeah i mean it, that would be kind of the life right right you're constantly getting fed it's like super nourished you know and yeah. it's probably super fucking warm in there like it's just like oh yeah in a jacuzzi of like chili cheese fries and like trans fats like and that's not even how pregnancy works 
but like yeah. I feel like it should be you know like it's just vibing in there the baby is just like bouncing off the walls and the mom doesn't even know she's pregnant right me yeah and you don't know if you're pregnant but the baby's bouncing like a just like a mental patient in there just bouncing off the walls yeah and, uh, wow that's another thing I can relate to this is great and if you're the 600 pound Grace Kirk you can't feel the baby kick you can't feel anything because you don't know yeah meanwhile the baby's probably kicking the shit out of you like mom notice me right? mom, if I was vegetables like that. please <laughs> oh, stop ignoring me you're pregnant yeah, yeah. like you're your unborn fetus is yelling at you that you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Stop drinking uh, whatever eight dollar drinks at Lola's. Oh, they're like two dollars. Mm. Mm. Not your drink. I, well, yeah, I get a double Red Bull and vodka, and the Red Bull's extra, and it's a double, so it's like two dollars. Oh, I forgot. You're famous. You're definitely at least Lola's famous. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Lola's famous, which is the only famous I want to be. And, Are you um, more famous than the tamale guy at Lola's? The one that called me a whore? Is there another one? Yeah, he has a son that comes around. But he and what probably does he call you? a whore, too. I don't know. He's like, I heard you were a whore from my dad. Yeah, he's like, you want some free uh, tamale? I would uh, definitely try to trade tamales for sex if I was a tamale person. I've already been there. It's not worth it. Well, well not on your end, but if you're the tamale guy, it is worth it because one tamale is five cents. One? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about like a, like a dozen though. Okay. Yeah. How many <laughs> tamales? <laughs> no, I would have to, it would have to be Listen. at least like 200 tamales for me to like fuck. Okay, for you, but... What's the going rate of uh, pussy in Houston in tamales? Are we talking like high-end prostitute or street prostitute? High-end tamales, street prostitute, and then later we'll do street tamales, high-end prostitute. So. Okay. A like street uh, prostitute, I think, is about like $100, $100 hundred, $150. You don't have to whisper, okay? Like you think the cops are in the next room? I'm they not whispering. I'm, I, it's a sensitive subject, okay? Jeez, you sound like my grandma saying black people. Black <laughs> people. Just tell me the conversion rate for pussy to tamales. Come on. Well, I don't. How much does a tamale cost? The thing what? about tamale and tamales and pussy is quality and quantity, size, grams. Okay, what would you rate the tamales that we had at Lola's? Were those high quality or low quality? I feel like they were good. I would say medium, medium okay. well. Okay. And it cost $8 for a pack of 12, right? It cost eight? No way. It was like six. He got me like for, I feel like it was, I think I might have been balling that week. I had like 20 bucks on me, so. Okay, but it was like $6 for a pack of 12. That sounds fair. Okay, so 50 cents per tamale. Yes. Street price for sex, $150. Okay, now we're that getting would be somewhere. Like, <laughs> that would be like over, I don't know, over 10 packs of tamales that have 12 in it. So over 120. 120 tamales. But, like, more. I just can't do the math. Jeez. Maybe, let's yeah. say 200. 200. No. Okay, round up? No, no. That's so easy. If it's $150 for street sex and tamales are 50 cents each, it would be 300 tamales. Yeah, of course. Why did I not cents. know that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 300. Would I have sex for 300 tamales? Maybe. But it's like, I don't want, I mean, after so many, can you really keep eating them? Or would you get tired? I mean, they're going to go bad. So it's like, then you just fucked for a meal or two or a snack or two. You don't get them all at once, I feel. But at the same time, it's like, I'd be having sex for free with awful people. And I don't even get food in exchange. So maybe. 
three hundred tamales might be a lifetime supply of tamales. Absolutely not. No. Three hundred. I don't eat a lot of tamales. That's like two Christmases. <laughs> for uh, for you. Me and and a couple other people. I'm I'm sharing the tamales that I'm fucking for. No, I I think. If they want some tamales, they need to get a stroke in or a little bit of a BJ. They got to do something. Oh, they got to stick a finger in the ass. Yeah. That's like a tamale. Yeah. I mean, God. That's really asking a lot to stick your fingers in someone's asshole. That's a commitment. You don't know where that asshole has been or where your fingers have been. <sighs> Assholes can't really go anywhere. They go wherever the person goes. Yeah. They, you know where it's been. It's been inside of a butt. Right. But you don't know where they've been. You don't know if they've been riding the Metro naked or whatever. The I'd Metro is the wild, okay. wild west of public transit from the big cities of the United States that I've observed. Yeah. I mean, they charge people on the train, but it's so poorly done. and It's so poorly enforced. It's like, the cops show up, you know, like a, they show up like surprise motherfucker, right? Yeah. And then people just get off that don't have tickets. Yeah. So like, what the fuck's the point? That's all you got to do is just get off. Well, yeah, I mean, they do that with like the Metro Rail in Houston. I feel like it's easier on like a subway in New York. But my mom always takes the Metro Rail and she's like, oh, that's why. You know, always playing because you never know when they're gonna show up. And she does talk like that also. Does she? No. I love my mom though. Love you, mom. It's Mother's Day, basically. Yeah, like in a half hour. Yeah, love you, mom. I'm gonna Uber my mom lunch tomorrow. What does that mean? Just like order her Uber Eats. Where does she live? In Wisconsin. Oh, that's so fucking random of you. What is? Yeah, to, for you to, like, be from Wisconsin <laughs> inherently, oh, I thought, I thought... inherently random of you. Yeah. My whole life has been random. My life is not random. It's, it's pretty normal. Hmm. I guess I've kind well, of just gone with the flow. Yeah. So, like, I was born in Wisconsin, you know, and even though I was like, this is random as fuck. When I was born, I was like, this is random as fuck. Yeah, like, it's super random that you were even born. It's true. Not me, though. It was destined. Star was born. Yeah. <laughs> you were planned? You have sisters and everything? I actually cool. was planned, yeah. Not to flex or anything. So this is a good segue. They're prematurely opening Texas, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. But I, here's the thing. I was premature myself when I was oh. born, so how can I really judge, you know? Nice. Well, I was planned, so I think we should plan on reopening Texas. Yeah, you can have a say in this. You yeah. can be like, this is too soon. We need to plan better. I was planned. We need a plan. You could have an opinion. Me, like, this is premature. This isn't good. They'd be like, you were premature. And I'd be like, you're right. And then You're just a lowly home, homebody from good old Wisconsin. Your opinions don't matter. I'm deleting that. That's for sure. Getting uh -huh. that out of here. Wisconsin <laughs> is cool. We have all types of... Cheese. Yeah, but also Cow. ice cream. Football. Football and beer. The color green. Green and gold together. Yeah. Are you a cheesehead? Yeah. Nice. Would you are you a self described cheesehead? Like are you just yes. like I am a cheesehead. You say the words cheesehead? When provoked. If someone had a gun to my head, you know, hey, are you a cheesehead or are you not a cheesehead? I'd be like, Yeah, okay, I'm a cheesehead. Like <laughs> Gun to my head, I'm a cheese head. I don't walk around telling everyone in the street. Gun to your head, you're, you're a cheese head. Okay. Gun to my head, I'm an Astros fan. Oh, man. Being an Astros fan. Being a Houston 
sports fans gotta be, gotta be awful. Being an Astros fan is fine. We won the World Series. Yeah, I guess it's fine because Houston fans are pretty insular, and so even though everyone else hates the Astros now, Astros fans are like, good. We're going to still win. Yeah, we are. I'm with it, I believe. I'm more like a – see, cheese heads don't roll like that. Cheese heads don't roll like that? <laughs> the way that you said that, though, cheese heads don't roll like that, so. Mm. I'm a cheese head. I'm a juggalo. You know these things about me. Yeah, I didn't know that you were a real juggalo. I thought you were a fake one. Uh, no, I send you songs all the time now. Not true. I send you like four or five songs. Okay. And you never respond or like give me a review or anything. But okay, I just... you literally, I will message you something and then you'll respond with like a factual comment that has nothing to do with what I even said to you. Really? Yes. Not me. I'll send you like some gossip and then you'll respond like, I think we should do the podcast on blah, blah, blah. It's like, respond to what I said. You never do. And you always leave my ass on delivered and not even read. Like, you keep it on delivered. Like, okay, you little popular bitch. Oh, no, it's not popularity. It's, it's anxiety. Over talking to Grace Kirk? Thank you. I've become so just, uh, it's, it's really weird right now. I need the world to either just end or for this to be over, because I don't like this limbo I'm in. I know. It really sucks. But people are calling me, my friends that I used to talk to like all the time. Like you. Like, but if you would call me, like after we hadn't talked in weeks, I'd still like look at the phone and be like, eh. And I want to talk to the person, but it's like, I get panic. I'm like, do I still know how to talk? I feel the same, but like, I don't, I feel anxiety. It's just like I'm too lazy to even answer the phone or, yeah. and, and even like have a conversation because it's like they're going to be like, What's up? And it's like, What do you think is up? Like, nothing. I'm doing nothing. I have no money. Everyone's dying, but not me for some reason. I don't know why I haven't gotten coronavirus yet. Like, I should by now. I do feel left out at this point. <laughs> yeah. Like, I haven't gotten a mask. I've never worn the mask. Like, I'd be going out, okay? And when coronavirus was, like, in the United States, but we still hadn't shut down the bars and everything, I was, like, partying, dude. We yeah, this went is out. why we're not doing the show in the same place. Yeah. Because this type of just braggadocious, I've been noticing these people, that the cockiest, they're like, if I was old or fat, then I'd have to worry. But I'm neither of those. I'm young. I work out. Fuck everybody else. Like, okay, I'm actually old and fat, but I still don't have it. So, and I'm not being braggadocious. If that's I know, I'm turning, up your, I'm turning up your personality to like, a, you know, 10 to the 10. I don't even think braggadocious is a word, but to answer your <laughs> question, it's not a word. It is a word. Braggadocious. Braggadocious, braggadocious is a word, and even braggadocio is a word. Braggadocio sounds like... It's Italian. Nah, I'm not even going to go there. I, But to answer your question, yes, I feel left out because I haven't gotten coronavirus yet. If I had it, maybe men would be like, hey, are you okay? You know, but they're not. If Literally, you, mm -hmm. I got a text from a guy who I was like having a thing with and he was like ending things with me over this text message. You know, how you do, all right? And he was like, he like said all this like long paragraph. And then at the end, he was like, don't feel like you have to respond. <laughs> that is the worst. Don't feel like you have to respond after a, here, I'm going to speak my piece. And then you, I don't even want to hear what you have to say. The best part about the message was that he like didn't even say it's over he had said it without even saying it. He goes, hey, I just don't want it to be awkward when I see you. And I was like, I thought we were okay. <laughs> like, That's so fucked up. And I can't believe that someone would ever tell my loud ass, don't feel like you need to respond. Bitch, I'm like, 
crazy. Like, of course I responded. I sent a message longer than motherfucking war and peace, bitch. Like, it's already over. Yeah. I'm going to wow. say Did shit. you, like, take breaks? Yeah. Like, the thing was, like, I woke up at 8 in the morning and saw this message, and the ending just, like, fully enraged me. Like, I, I, I usually sleep until, like, 2 p.m., but I was, like, up for the day. And I was just, like, da-da-da-da. And then I would, like, like smoke a cigarette and just be, like, da-da-da-da-da. fuck you. Uh, like, I can't believe you did this. Uh. And, um, yeah, so he blocked me, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. Don't feel like you have to respond. He's telling you how to feel about what yeah. he's saying. It really, here's the thing, people, like, guys really shock me. Like, you see their true colors when you, like, are ending romantic ties with them. Because you can think they're a whole other person, but bitch, when they're dumping your ass, you're going to see them for who they really are. Like, for yeah. fucking real. It's just like, when a guy comes, and then he's different after he comes. Nah, it's like when I, a guy I, is no longer I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They come and then they're even more interested in you after they come. They're like even more turned on. That reminds me of when I literally lost my virginity and the guy, <laughs> the guy like, you know, like we had sex or whatever. It was this guy that I really, really liked and I left his house and afterwards he posted on Twitter and he was like, today was sort of eventful. That's all he said? Yeah. And then like he was a dick to me for the rest of my life. Um, and it's like, maybe it's things like that that made me who I am today. Yeah. See, you've heard like the bit about, oh, I wish I could be gay and just hang out with guys. That would be awesome. That would be way easier. I like hanging out with men. You know, you've heard that whole bit about right. guys. Like it would be easier to be gay. Right, right, right. I don't think so. From these stories, you know, sounds like, I mean, a girl will just ghost you. She won't give you a paragraph about like, and then yes, don't feel the need to respond. It's so, that's so alpha. It's so like, well, I, think the, I feel, I think the don't feel like you need to respond is alpha, but girls write hella paragraphs about that, that kind of shit. Like while, like when they are trying to like get you to leave them alone, they'll write you a bunch of paragraphs. I'm talking more about like like on on a breakup situation. Oh yeah, if they like you and you're breaking up with them, get ready to read. Yeah, bitch. I will. I'm not gonna show you the exact thing of what I said, but I'm gonna show you how long it was, and I'm gonna try and cut off this guy's name here. Oh, how do I do that? I mean, we believe you. I don't think anyone's Literally like, all of that. I saw an F word in there. I'm kind of on his side now. You're swearing in it? Yeah. He was on some bullshit. Bullshit. Woo! Like he fooled my ass for real. I said something in the message where I was like, it was like funny. Um, <laughs> I said, um, That is pretty funny. I said something, you're just an asshole who blah, 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 which honestly is a plot term, is a plot term I never saw coming. So thanks for keeping me on my toes. Nice. I like how there's like the literary, like dazzlings that go into like a, a goodbye text. It's like, oh, ooh, I'm going to yeah. add alliteration in here. Uh, you know, it's going to be a poetry in this goodbye text. When I'm telling a guy off or, like, we're ending things, bitch, I'll be goddamned if I'm not an English professor. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, like, throwing out, like, haikus and, Same like, writing sonnets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, indenting paragraphs. Oh, my God. Fucking, like, yeah. with this guy I used to date, like, when we, were, when we broke up, I was, like, quoting The Notebook in it. And I'm, like, nice. I'll always remember Citing you. your sources. <laughs> Yes, like annotated bibliographying it. Like you gotta Damn. make the most out of it, dude, because you don't know when it's gonna be the last message forever. And I'm a fucking drama queen, so like I want you to remember my ass. Hell yeah! Like, as a scholar, more than anything else. It's like I love you, and then a strike through. 
oh, you like downloaded an app that can let you do that. Like the fucking MD Anderson Cancer Cancer Center thing where they cross it out. I love that. Right. Oh. <laughs> They're like, we're fighting cancer and cancer's like crossed out. I'm like, don't cross it out. You're still fighting it. You haven't right. finished like, it. They haven't cured it. Yeah. You better uncross that shit and get back to work. The thing is though, I bet cancer researchers are like, they probably feel like chopped liver right now. You know? Right. People who are trying to cure cancer. The main like, thing right now. Cancer is so used to being number one. You know, it's like the Patriots. You know, like, always oh, that's, winning. That's the team that Tom Brady's on. He went to the Buccaneers. No, he didn't. Yeah, he, yeah. I thought he was, like, always on that team. Like, that was, like, his team. Yeah, but then they're, like, you're old. He's old? Well, yeah, he's in his 40s. Oh, that seems old to play a professional sport. But he's so unathletic that it doesn't even phase him. Because he's never been fast. He was the slowest player in his class i believe i was just watching actually a tom brady documentary it was on, it's on pause right now mm -hmm. i paused my tom brady documentary to talk to you that's so it's amazing. really coincidence hmm? um that is very kind of you to pause that for me it was pretty good it was about this guy who stole his jersey after he won the super bowl i feel so, like i actually heard about that so it was kind of like a uh, crime and sports mm -hmm. i actually watched a really like fascinating documentary last night night called voyeur on netflix have you seen it or heard about I, it i've scrolled past it 50 times probably okay it's about this creepy ass old man in colorado who fucking had he bought a motel for the sole purpose of like watching people have sex from the attic i'm interested it is like fucking fascinating okay so he built like kind of like a crawl space above and like you know like the vent would be at the on the ceiling and he he could walk around to any of the rooms and see anyone have sex and he he saw a murder take place and he didn't report it to the cops because he was peeping in on these people like it's the craziest thing and, that's uh, where He's becoming a real villain. He's been a creep this whole documentary. He's being a creep. And then there's a murder and he doesn't report. And everyone's like, all right, creep. That was your time to shine. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel being a creep is obviously bad. It, it, and it's a question of, of like morals. But, you know, he sees a literal woman die and doesn't report it. Right. I mean. That to me, like when I saw that on the documentary, like. It was so real that I felt like sick watching it. Like it was disgusting. And like, I'm like, uh, and like the statute of limitations has passed. It's been like over 25 years or something, but like Ugh. so gross. Like he is fucked up. And he, his wife was his accomplice. And she Yo. was like, she was totally cool with him uh, peeping in on these people, like being a peeping Tom and being a voyeur, watching these people fuck. And he said that she would bring him sandwiches and coke. Talk about a ride or die bitch. God yes. damn. Oh, and if she's not the ugliest person I've ever seen in my life. That in, is probably. Inside and out. Yeah. That's probably why he's a warrior. Because she's ugly as fuck. And I don't even know. Like He's like, anything not to look at your ugly ass. And like, he really was the creepiest guy. He was like, yeah, you know, when I got into my 40s and did it. When I was in my 20s, I could masturbate four or five times a night while watching them, but you just, your body can't handle it anymore. And I'm like, die. Like, He's not dead, I bet. Oh, no, he's alive. He's in the documentary. The documentary's starring him. Jeez, he's, he's probably like, jealous of Tiger King. He's like, hey, you know, he's I was like a fucking creep. He's like proud to tell his story. Like, <laughs> he's like proud of it. And this like, like really famous reporter writes a book about him, so I'm gonna get the book and I'm gonna read it. It's gonna be one. I gotta watch this documentary. Read. It sounds interesting. If it is compelling my ass to read, it must be worth something. Wow. Yeah. I know. I I was really interested in it. it was, it was Reading something besides a guy texting you that he doesn't want to hang out anymore. Yeah. In a, like long I form. Should, I shouldn't feel the need to respond. Um, yo, that message fucked me up though. I was like livid and i've been livid since it, it was like three or four days ago i wow. fucking went i went on to cameo.com <laughs> yeah. 
you know, the website where you can like pay for celebrities to give you a video message. And I mm -hmm. found this one chick who would only cost a dollar. And I was like, and she's nobody. She's absolutely nobody. I am more famous than her. She has a song on YouTube with a hundred views and it's been on YouTube for four months. Is it good? No, it's horrible. Can we pull it up though? Like, can we actually pull it up? We mixed our friendship with mixed signals. Turn our emotions into emotional riddles. When I thought this, you thought that. For every step forward, we took two steps. Search it. Thunder and Stop. The name of this page is Thundering, is thundering Hoofs. Hoofs is not correct. Okay, I'm more gonna than send one hoof is a more than one hoof is hooves. Should I send them a message? Yeah. Okay, I'm they gonna see if I can message them quick and be a public comment on their page. They have zero comments. I'll be yeah. the only one. Uh, more than one hoof. <laughs> <laughs> a group of <laughs> hooves. A group of. No, say hoof. Hoofs. Plural is hooves. You fucking okay. stupid ass crackers. I'm just gonna put it's hooves. <laughs> For your information. That's it. That's all. So she's doing cameo. She's got 129 views. She's got five dislikes. How many of those are you? Read the comments. Read the comments. Read the comments. Read the comments. Get down in the comments. Edit about as cleanly as the water behind you. I would have been better off not hearing this. Did you know that Ronald Reagan's grave is a gender neutral bathroom? That's not Christopher Steininger. That's you. No, that is. I told my followers to do it. But then, oh. I, deleted it. But then I deleted it because I felt bad. Oh, we got a bunch of these here. Well, this guy is an actual fan. Like the comment. The, the, I'm going to like this one. Yeah, that's what I meant. I don't appreciate this. This is mean, this part. Well, she's mean to me. What'd she do to you? Okay, so I told you, after receiving the messages that said, don't feel the need to respond, I went on to Cameo, and I found her, and she was only a dollar, and she's a nobody, so I thought it would be so funny to get her to say some shit. So, <laughs> so in the, like, what do you want them to say thing in, the, in that box, I was like, hey... I just went through a breakup. Could you please say that all men are cheaters and liars? And then please sing Ronald Reagan's grave is a gender neutral bathroom. And she produced a video to me that <laughs> literally was like, hey, sweetie. She didn't even say my name. She just said, hey, sweetie, it's Taylor Marie Wagner. I'm so sorry to hear about your breakup. Um, if you want to hear a song, listen to my song, Better Off. Bitch, I told your ass to fucking sing Ronald Reagan's Grave is a Gender Neutral Bathroom. I didn't pay a dollar for you to plug your song. So you paid her, and then she didn't do what she's supposed to do on camera. Yeah. Are you going to get a refund? Maybe. I've, I've rated her one star and said they did not complete my request. Yeah, no, hopefully she gets banned because that's upsetting. It is. Bitch, I'm poor as fuck. I just wanted an uplifting message from a nobody on YouTube, but this bitch wants to play some fucking games and try and plug herself. Okay. All right. So then. Like, I feel okay. sorry for your poor ass, but I feel worse that the message isn't getting out there. That Ronald Reagan's grave is... A gender, a gender neutral, neutral bathroom. bathroom. Exactly. And if she would just spread the word, if she would record the video like it should have been recorded, you could share that and then the word could get out. Right. And then, so you know how in the message I said, like, I just went through a breakup. Dante Powell, one of my favorite people, sent her a request that said, let me pull it up. It's, it's so funny. Um, okay. So Dante booked Taylor. And the instructions is, 
my ex got one of these with you because she knew I was a fan of yours and that I was actually the one who was better off after our breakup. So just say, you beat Grace, Dante, I guess. God bless. And we are hashtag stronger together. Hashtag I've got your six. So she's fully being harassed now. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. I'm ecstatic. How do you know her I, outside of outside I don't, of all of this? I don't. She's just a random person I saw on Cameo <laughs> that was a dollar. And now you have beef because she didn't she basically stole a dollar from you. Yeah, she did. She's a con artist, and that's why she only has that many views. Five dislikes, two uh, two likes. Well, I made my friends dislike her thing. At this point, I'm not a cyber bully. I'm a cyber general. You okay? think the and voyeur I'm... guy is creepy? Mm. You're a little creepy yourself here, manufacturing this army of anyone who d does you wrong for a dollar, and you send your minions at them. I just don't ruin know their the, YouTube page. I just don't know like who the fuck she is. Thinking like, oh, this girl just went through a breakup. I'm gonna plug my music. Not even say her name. All the cameos are like, hey Bob, hey Tammy. This bitch is, hey sweetie, listen to my song. That sucks. <laughs> okay. Like she used a pre-recorded one for like she yeah, sends that one to everyone. You couldn't have known it was for me. You couldn't. And like to put in perspective how cheaper thing is is like celebrities will cost like okay uh riffraff is like 75 dollars to get a video message from him hers was one dollar no tax straight up one dollar well you see you can't judge her for only charging a dollar while also pointing out how she's a nobody because that is a nobody's price right right but you see why i chose her because it was only a dollar and i was like maybe this random video message will make me feel better but it ended up pissing me off because this bitch wants to pull one over on me literally i'm like broke as fuck right now all right where she live she lives in nashville let's go oh also she's a trump supporter so with our followers they're not trump supporters that's for danger and some of yours are probably mentally unstable oh a lot of them are so for sure i feel like mentioning anyone in a negative light for you and your fans is dangerous i'd say we need to protect their identity because who That's knows what will happen some name out. boob obsessed nashville dude like vandalizes her house in your name i'd love it that's what That's i want the problem. I, I want a cult of followers you know no i don't i do know like satan I think I already have some, so we're doing good. Or uh, Charlie um, Manson. But really, that's that's what's been up with me, just trying to get over this whole thing with that guy. I can't um, keep up with you and your uh, exploits, to be honest. I'm not doing shit. Literally every month uh, before I get my period, I'm like, what if I don't get my period? What if I'm pregnant? And I haven't had sex in so long. So long. Like more than four months did you skip like, sex ed as a child yes so i know no but i'm always like what if i'm pregnant like i always like i always like go through this thing in my head where, where i'm like what if i'm pregnant from the last time i had sex but i've just been spotting and that's what i've been thinking is my period and my body just sucks and it's not showing that i'm pregnant and this is looping back to the i didn't know i was pregnant thing circle woo we did it you're the type of girl who's going to show up at the line for testing when they have the COVID tests, and you're gonna be like, can I instead just get a pregnancy test? I had a dream that I got a pregnancy test from the tire shop, and that's like the most me thing that's ever existed. Because I'm always having car troubles and pregnancy scares. Get your oil changed. Have a life-changing test done as well. Hey, All at Pet Boys. Your baby will be born in 20,000 miles. I'm an Uber driver. That's uh, it's pretty soon. Yeah, that's like a month. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was a third comment. I want to shout out people who comment on our video and stuff. Oh, I saw the third comment. It doesn't make any sense though. It's like a bikini. Mm -hmm. Is one of the emojis they chose, and some random emojis. So that's positive. 
Yeah, the, I mean, it wasn't negative, so I'll take it. I think they're trying to give us some notes for the show. Like, here's <laughs> our comments so far. It's like, Grace is hot. Hey, here's some notes for the show. A bikini. <laughs> a blue heart, I remember. A weird cat smiley face. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, we love you. Thanks for the undying support. I, it should end where I'm like, I'm not an internet bully. I'm an internet general. Did you say that? Yeah, I did say that. And then you were like, you're creepy. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying, 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 I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying, 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 I